and I don't like it really doesn't look good and it really it really truly won't even pick up right here Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review on the Jaclyn Hill Vault. So this has a ton of controversy surrounding it. What makeup product doesn't have controversy surrounding it these days? I cannot find one. So I'm going to be reviewing it. I did not get the first batch of it because if you have been following this launch, it had an initial launch to in PR. It was not received well. People were saying it was blending patchy. It was this, that, and the other. It was not good and they decided to move the launch date back for like the general public and say, you know, let's try to redo this. All of our original palettes, we're gonna destroy them. Now they come out with this um, like a month later. So this is the only one that I have. I have not tried the original. I just wanna see if this one's good. There's a conspiracy that people are saying that these are the same exact palettes, like they don't function really any differently. And I'm gonna let you know. So it comes with a collection of four palettes, right? You guys have probably already seen this. There's a ton of reviews out already. So comes with four palettes if you buy the vault. So I bought the vault um, with my own money and it was priced at $49. And you can use a discount code, which I did use. It got me $4.90 off. And then I had to pay shipping and handling, even though the website said that any order over $40 was gonna be free shipping. This was, I guess, an exclusion to that special so I did have to pay shipping and handling, that frustrated me, and then tax was $5, so total came out to $55.06. I ordered this August 14th, and it did not get to me till August 21st, and I was doubly frustrated because I was on the website, and I, I actually did not want to purchase every palette, I just wanted to get two, um, and that would have been like $30. So I wanted to get Armed and Gorgeous, and I wanted to get Ring the Alarm, and I could did not have the option to get ring the alarm on the website on the morphe website that's where i ordered it from i didn't have that option to get that and i wanted to order on the morphe website um, specifically because you do get a discount code um, which you don't get on ulta so so when i did go to click on ring the alarm it was not taking me to the ring the alarm loading page to add it to my cart so i did have to buy the full vault and you know it's not that big of a deal these are very good prices but i will let you know honestly and totally if they are good or worth it or even worth the $15 because sometimes palettes just aren't worth even cheap price points you know what I mean before I start shameless plug we've got new merch on the store this is the emergency review merch it's so cute I love it so much it took me so many days so many tries to get this right and I love the way it came out. I'm wearing the Next Level tee, so it's like a premium, really soft t-shirt. There's a couple ones that are cheaper than that if you want to purchase those. There's going to be a link down to my Teespring where you can purchase these. It's my merch shop. So I do want to explain really quick because I think this is kind of like an emergency review. Not really, but you know what I mean. So emergency review, that's like my little stupid series that I came up with. And a lot of people don't like that series, but I think it's like hilarious. Emergency review. Like, you know, makeup, it's kind of like sarcastic or like it's satire because makeup's not that important that it would need like an emergency review do you know what i mean but i'll make emergency reviews if i feel like i want to save you guys money and there's like a hugely hyped up palette that i think is just awful so emergency review and i put my name down here um in script just because i wanted this line of merch to kind of be, have my spin on it because the last round I didn't have that on it because I didn't want you guys to be walking billboards for me. It's still not really a walking billboard. It's just kind of an inside joke, but I like that it has like a nod to me on it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's like a heart because, you know, emergency review, heart, you know, like all that stuff. And then it's got it like an EKG strip and then there's lashes in the middle. So I just think it's really cute. It's kind of like all like, you know, hospital themed or you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what it stands for. There's t-shirts, there's sweatshirts online. Um, I'm gonna stop talking about it, but if you wanna check it out, I'm really excited about it. This is probably my favorite, like this is my first like real design. Like I made the other ones, but it's, it was just a script. Like this is like, I put it together, created everything myself, picked the colors out, picked the font out, you know, like did all of these. I created this EKG strip, the lashes, you know what I mean? So I hope that you guys like it. If you don't, that's totally fine. Let's just get into this, shall we? I'll try to use a bunch of colors from each palette. So let me zoom. By the way, all my palettes have V2 on it. Nobody knows what that means. Um, Jacqueline said it does not stand for version two. 
Um, so, but I will say I love the packaging. Each comes with a mirror, um, which is very good for a $15 palette. It comes with 10 shades in each one, so a total of 40 shades. But I've been hearing people are having trouble with like these matte greens. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with the shade Poof and put that on my lid. So far, this is a very good shade. It's like pigmented. Um, this is actually what I usually look for in these types of shades. Let's start with this palette because this is the one that I really wanted. This is Armed and Gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using this one. This shade coin is speaking to me on a multitude of levels. But I do wanna point out that these two shades look very similar. Potion and Top Secret look very similar. So I'm gonna go into this palette right here. I'm gonna go in with the shade Axis because I've seen people use that and I think it looks really nice. So it's Axis is this yellow color right here. I do like Morphe shades, by the way. I, I like their palettes. After her palette came out, um, I've noticed a real change in their the quality of their eyeshadows. That is like very blendable, very pigmented. You can build it up, which I like. I'm gonna go into Secure. These two shades look very similar to me. These two look too similar, in my opinion. Like, I don't like that they're that similar but i am going to go into secure put that in my with a more dense brush put that in my crease a little bit lower than the yellow so that blended out really well that was secure so i'm going to go into this green shade right here called top secret and i'm going to put that a little bit lower in my crease I'm gonna have to use a different color, like different brush, I think, because that one is not working out for me so well. Um, the green shade does not blend that great, to be honest with you. Um, but it does work better if you pat it on to your lid. It, it looks patchy though, I'm not gonna lie. Like it looks really patchy. I see some fallout. I now have like a dark spot right here. You can definitely see. Let me zoom you real far in. So you can see right there that it's it's pretty patchy. Like I'm, I'm having trouble understanding though if it's like, is it patchy because it's a matte green and those are kind of, she said those are hard. But like, you can tell that it's kind of like, it's grabbing right here. It's like, you can see how patchy it is. Do you see that right here? Like here, there's no pigment. Like it won't pick up on my eye. Oh my God. Do you see that? You can see like a huge mark right here where it's, it's not blending. That's pretty bad in my opinion. I think that if you, you know, if matte greens are so hard to develop, then I think that you, it's better just to leave them out. The green in the other Morphe palette, the 29A Dare to Create, is much better than this. This is patchy as hell, okay? Patchy as hell. And I don't, like, it really doesn't look good. And it really, it really truly won't even pick up right here. Like you can, de you can definitely see that it won't pick up. So I'm just gonna have to move on from that one, hopefully. The other shades are pretty good. I'm going to go into the shade Prowl, which is a dark, kind of like chocolate brown. I'm going to zoom you in again. So, you can still see that it's not picking up right here. So, after I put that green shade down, nothing has been picking up right here ever since then. This reminds me of the Tartlet Toasted palette that it did the same thing. I don't feel like this is very... Um, consistent with Morphe eyeshadows, like the newer versions, like I really don't. This look doesn't look bad, but I can see where the patch is and it looks a lot worse in person. And you can see right here, this darkness, it all fell down, you can see. Um, that's not usually there, like look over here, there's no darkness at all. Let's see what the coin shade looks like. So I'm gonna use my finger. This does swatch very good, this coin shade. I can't totally get it on my eye. So I'm gonna pick some up with a brush and then I'm gonna spray my brush. So 
So that's kind of what we're looking like so far. That shade applies very good. Um, but you can see how patchy it is over here. I'm exaggerating how patchy it is, like I was telling you. That part over here, hold on, let me like blend this out because that's not fair. Um, okay, see right here? Look how patchy that is right here. But the coin shade is amazing. Like I love that shade. I think that it is very, in a way, unique. I'm going to try to pack some more Prowl, which is that dark shade on the outside. Yeah, it's not grabbing. I'm gonna highlight my upper brow bone just really quickly with VIP, which is the white, like white shade right there. That is very nice and pigmented. I'm just not happy with how this looks. So I'm gonna go on to another palette, and this is my this was my palette that I was hoping for, um, but it just doesn't seem like it's up to quality. Like I don't, you know what I mean? I think that a lot of people have been having trouble with this palette, so I think I'm gonna go into this one next. This is Dark Magic. I'm gonna go in again with the shade Potion on a different brush. We're trying a different one. A little bit of a kick up right there. It's not going on great. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my old tactic where I'm gonna take just a, a dense brush. I'm gonna pat it on. So I built it up a little bit. It definitely looks better than the other one. Again, I feel like it's kind of a little patchy over in this area. Like there's some spots where I can see that it doesn't want to grab onto my eye. Like right in this area. It doesn't want to grab. You can kind of see right there. I'm going to go into inside job right here. This one is much more pigmented, like almost frustratingly is because it's not very consistent across the whole thing. It's kind of like a bluey green um, as you can see. Like look how nice this one is, like how pigmented. But the but Potion was not at all. So this is a good shade. I Inside Job is a very good shade. Um, I like that one a lot. It's very dark. It is very blendable. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in with Power Cut. And I'm going to put that on my lid first with, this swatch is really bad by the way. And it doesn't go on very well either. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go in with a brush. It swatches really badly, like really bad. So I'm hoping it just performs better on my eyes, I don't know. This shade is awful. I'm just gonna say it right now, it's awful. It almost is translucent, like there's no opacity. It swatches bad, it goes on terrible. It looks like that's just my eyelid, like there's no shimmer. Where's the impact in this shade? Um, I'm pretty disappointed in like that light green and I'm very disappointed in the shade Power Cut, which is right there. This is what my eyes look like from far away. It doesn't look horrible, but it definitely is not my best uh, looks, my best two looks I've ever had. Let's do another one in this palette. Okay, so I took one of my eyes off, or, you know, makeup looks off. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't feel like I would reach for, like, this palette ever again. To me, I don't feel like there's enough shades in here where I'm like... Like, the superstar shades, the shades that stand out to you. The green. the green and it's not that great you know so like I said I didn't really want to purchase this one but I didn't really have an option if I wanted to get ring the alarm and I knew that if I got on the Ulta website I could do that that way but I kind of was like in a rush you know what I mean so it was frustrating that there was like that glitch but whatever what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go into the bling boss palette I guess I'm gonna go into hush hush so here we go This shade is bad. <laughs> this is, where is it? Where is this shade, you guys? I mean, this is really bad. It's really, really bad. I look really, like I look like I belong in the morgue with this shade on, I really do. This is, a, this is probably one of the worst shades I've touched in a long time. So I'm gonna go into Rockstar over here. Hopefully we have better luck with this one. By the way, if you, um have any pigment to your skin whatsoever, that shade Hush Hush is going to be diabolic, in my opinion. Just absolutely diabolic. Okay. 
That shade's not the worst shade ever. Um, I definitely had a little bit of fallout though. Rockstar is not that bad. It's pretty good. Also not the best shade ever. Like you can see there's some patchiness right here that I've, I've tried to go over a few times now. And now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Mystic and it's kind of like a dark purple. Um, like a dark browny purple. I'm gonna put that on my outer corner. I'm still trying to recuperate from the first shade that I put down, the transition shade, Hush Hush. Like, you can see that it just made me look very dead, very like like Cruella de Vil or something. Like, I did, it just doesn't look good. So I'm gonna go into Gem, which is the dark purple right there. It's coming up pretty good on my brush, you can see. I'm gonna wet that so I get minimal fallout, hopefully. Wow. I just want to update you. I am using the Ring the Alarm palette. This shade right here is so patchy. Secret. This is what happened when I tried to blend out Secret. You can see that there is, it's not grabbing right here. This is very similar to like the subculture problem. In my last emergency review, a lot of people were upset because I didn't put a lot of clips in of me blending and what, you know, what I said was patchy. And I just want to let you know that this time I put a ton of clips in. Just to let you know, you know that I do know what patchy looks like, and this is what it looks like. These shades are just not performing straight up, and it's in, there's a problem in every single palette with a shade like that. So, hey. it's like they're not all hits, and I feel like in the Jaclyn Hill original palette, they are all hits, and it's hard to look at me right now. I know that they're all hits, and they all there's not like a bad shade, and there's not like a patchy shade that seemed like it took two years to make. These don't. And like this gem shade is amazing, but and this coin shade is amazing, but they don't have supporting shades that are as good as them. I don't think in good faith that I could recommend these to you. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, I got a good one. And then a lot of people are saying that, oh, I got a bad one. And even Jacqueline is kind of like trying to figure out why people are still having problems with it. And I think that I don't know what is going on. I don't know what happened to these palettes or you know why there's so many discrepancies and just varying opinions but I think that it's too big of a risk to take if you have not bought these yet I don't think that you should take that risk there's nothing spectacular about these and I really thought I was gonna like them because I love the new Morphe shadows I love the dare to create 29a I love the Jaclyn Hill palette I love their new shadows like I see a huge difference between what they used to put out and private labeled and I don't think they do that anymore and now what they put out but this is just for me kind of a fail I'm really disappointed because I think that she obviously did not co-sign on this I don't think she would have ever and I feel very bad that this seems kind of out of Jaclyn's control because nobody wants to put out bad stuff you know what I'm saying like it just happened that way, and I personally don't think I could recommend this to you guys. I don't think I could. Disappointed, to say the least, but I just want to keep it honest with you guys. This is my personal opinion. I don't know how the first batch was, but this batch is, to me, not... Even for the price point, I just don't think that they're worth it. So, that being said, I, I know I didn't get to use a ton of shades. There are a lot of shades, in my defense, that come with this vault collection, so I do encourage you to watch other people's reviews and kind of figure it out for yourself. If there's anything that you want to bring to my attention that I did not mention, or you found a way to get the palettes to work, or whatever, if you disagree, go ahead and you can definitely comment that down below and feel free to. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.